John Whidden with Whidden Gunworks, and I'd like to give you some instructions for setup of our Arbor Cedar die. You'll see the parts listed and shown right here in this graphic to become familiar with the bits and pieces inside of it. First thing you need to do with our cedar is to back the micrometer adjustment off enough so that you can begin to see the O-ring that's underneath it. Next you want to take a loaded round and put the loaded round into the base. Now we're going to screw the micrometer down until we feel it contact the bullet. When it contacts the bullet, we'll feel a gap begin to form between the bottom of the cedar die and our arbor cedar base. We find it helpful to place our thumb and index finger where the base of the die and the bottom of the die meet. And then when we feel this gap, we know that we've contacted the bullet. Now we can remove the loaded round from the die. We take a round that's ready to be seated and place it in the base. Place the die over the top of it. You will notice that there is now a gap between the base and the bottom of the arbor cedar die. Now you can seat the bullet using either an arbor press or by hand. Remove the bullet from the bottom of the die. If the cartridge should want to stick in the die, all you've got to do is use your fingers and push the cedar sleeve up and that will help eject the round. Now we take a measurement of our seating depth. In this case, this round measures 1.864 inches long. Our target for this is 1.850 inches, which means we need to seat it deeper by 0 .014 or 14 thousandths of an inch. We make that adjustment right here on our micrometer by turning it down 14 thousandths of an inch. Now we can take the same cartridge, put it back in the die and reseat it. Remove the cartridge from the die and confirm the bullet seating depth. Just what we're after, 1.850 inches. One of the features of our Arbor Press die that we're excited about is the ability to convert your standard press mounted cedar into our arbor press cedar. We'll show you about that conversion kit next. The steps to convert your threaded press mounted cedar into an arbor press cedar are pretty easy. First thing you want to do is take the cedar apart right here in the center. Remove the cedar stem, cedar stem and cedar sleeve. You can set the base aside. On the micrometer assembly, Loosen up the little nut and remove the set screw from the top. Reassemble, take the base of your arbor cedar, slide your cedar sleeve and stem in it, and thread your micrometer assembly onto the top. Next take the screw, stick it through the washer, and assemble it into the top of the die. Thread the screw all the way down and snug it up against the top part of the micrometer using an Allen wrench. You're now ready to load your ammo. For more information on our dies, you can go to our website at widdengunworks.com where we also have printed instructions available if you'd like to view those.